Tabi lan abi. Gel bir. Ha. I can't see a thing in this. And that's part of tonight's challenge. What we're going to be doing, Kedrick and I, is uh, we're out here in the middle of the field in the middle of the night and we are going to be taking shots at increasing distances using the M&P 2.0 9mm. And what we're especially interested in tonight, the, uh, the piece of gear that's attached to the bottom here, this is... Ooh. The Olight Balder Pro. I have no idea why they call it the Balder. Uh, I didn't think any of them had any hair to begin with. But uh, this is a, a really cool little thing. You can switch it from... All right. We can switch it over to laser. So there's the green laser. Put it in the middle section. And right there we have both laser and light. And this thing's pumping out about 1300 lumens right there. It is an extremely powerful light, and you can see that it has a nice uh, little cone right there. And then if we go to the third section, you can see that the laser goes away and we just have the light. But we're gonna be backing up little by little, and we're gonna see if we can make some impacts with this out at various distances. And uh, we're gonna be doing it with this on to see if we can actually see anything. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, no problem at 10 yards. Okay, so what you got there? Huh? Oh, yeah. the, the light here, this is the Streamlight TLR4. You see it out there? Yeah. Okay. And, and you're shooting an M&P 2.0 as well, right? Correct. With the uh, the shorter barrel than yours, was it four and a quarter, I believe. How awful is it looking through that gas mask? What gas mask? <laughs> No, what gas mask? Look at the shock and surprise on my face. I don't know what you're talking about. As you can see, the, the light that was super bright before, just that little bit of filming, it, didn't, it doesn't last. The 1300 lumens doesn't last. So we're down to about 600, I think. Let's see how this does. Okay, I dig it. 10 yards is easy enough, even though it all looks like we're in a cloud. For those who haven't had much experience in a gas mask, if you're in a contaminated zone and your nose starts running, good luck, I guess. Get used to it. Enjoy the taste. That's okay, the first one counted. <laughs> Did I hit high or low? Uh, do it again. Uh, I can't tell. Good enough, that one hit well enough. All right, so I took four shots the first time. At 10 yards, I got four out of four. At, what are we, 25 yards? Yeah, we're at 25 now. I got two out of four. And my laser is zeroed at about 15 or 20 feet. Okay, yeah. Because uh, this is my home defense weapon, and I have it set up where that laser is right on target at the end of my hallway. All right, Kyle, 25 yards. I'm just going with the laser on this. We'll see. Oh, yeah, that's, that's great. <laughs> that's cool. I'm not even using the sights. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> cool. Okay, I like that. I like that you can use the sights if you want. Or laser. Yeah, very cool. I'm going to go just light here. I want to see what that's like. Just using the sights. No laser. Definitely slower to get off the You're out. I like the laser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably pretty handy when it's zeroed. Let me know when you're ready. Ready when you are. I'm feeling less confident. I went ahead and turned off my laser because I know the laser is going to be probably eight feet above the target. Gotcha. So I'm going to try to use my iron sights here. All right.
<sighs> well, my right lens has fogged up, so I'm shooting left eyed, which is a uh, first for me. <laughs> One out of four. Where were you aiming? Top of the head? I was just aiming at the target, dog. <laughs> I'm just trying to hit something. Oh. Oh. Straight down low. Guess I should have stopped while I was not so far behind. We'll just cut out all the others. It's one shot, one kill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Feels like I'm underwater in a barrel. Okay, here's just light to start with. Ooh, that's ugly. Okay, I think that was low. We'll try top of the head. Ooh. All right, switching over to the laser. There we go. Hey. That, yeah, it was too low. Need to aim a little higher. There it is. I always thought those ads, like Crimson Trace, they talk about how this laser is <laughs> so awesome. I'm with it, I'm with it. I like it, I like it a lot. At night, it makes a whole lot of sense. I like the light, that's great, so I can actually see what my target is. But uh, it's cool, I don't even have to be looking at the sights. And I can make hits at 50 yards, that's super cool. Like the laser. Oh, that's terrible! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, I can't... I can't get a cheek well because I don't have a cheek anymore. At least I have way too much cheek. <laughs> Alright. I haven't sighted in the laser for the rifle. It's actually sighted in for my pistol. Let's see how off it is. <laughs> I'm just gonna shoulder it. Hit yourself a little? You got so excited? Well, <laughs> well isn't this like the, the space suit? You can go in it? No, Kyle. Oh. I did anyway. Okay, we're gonna Rambo this. <laughs> okay. We're bracketing the target really well. Okay, this is stupid. <laughs> and this is the day that Kyle learned the importance of zeroing his laser. Ugh. I didn't come out here to learn something. Lesson of the day, gas masks suck. Wait, I haven't had my turn yet. Oh man, everything is fogged up. <laughs> oh, oh! Got a little gas coming out of the uh, gas block. I just burned my finger a little bit. Oh boy. The, uh, the optic that I have up top here, this is the Falcon S8i. The most highly recommended uh, AR type scope that I can think of. This thing is the business. I just love it. And it has an illuminated reticle. Oh wow, yeah. Laser's pointed way off. 
the light is nice, but I've got everything is all fogged up. Really hard to see. Here, give it a try. Hey, thank you. Did you save any ammo for me? <laughs> one round. You got one round. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was hopeful. <laughs> and we're out. Am I not generous? Uh, thanks, Kyle. <laughs> this is the face of COVID-19, everybody. Uh, oh. Don't let this happen to you. Hmm. Yeah, get yourself one of these. Well, <laughs> as long as you're shooting pistol, it's okay. What? Uh, did you have a problem with the rifle? Yeah. Oh. My only problem was uh, somebody left me one round. <laughs> <clears throat> this should be all you need. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm just complaining. I'm making excuses because I only had one round to hit the target and <laughs> I failed. I'm disappointed. I think it's out there somewhere. Yeah, it is. There we go. I can see them. I can see them. 100 yards away. May the Schwartz be with you, Kyle. Too low. Hey, oh, he did it. Oh, too low again. I'll try one more. Ah, oh, that was it. I got one. That's all right, I'm happy. First thing I should mention, the pistol has plenty of accuracy. Actually, the very first shot that I took with this, let me get this thing off my head. Ugh. Why'd you take it off? There we go. The very first shot that I took with this pistol, straight out of the box, 150 yards, nailed that target. It was the day though when I wasn't wearing this. Uh, so yeah. It's got plenty of accuracy. If I do my job, it works. Um, but yeah, the light, I really dig. Uh, if I had to take a shot at this distance, uh, you know, I have enough. I can see the target, even with it on half power right now, with the, uh, uh, you know, just because of how much juice it's eaten up. This uses CR123 batteries. We'll talk about it more here in the garage here in a second. But uh, it has enough right now, but it would definitely have more than enough. I think at 200 yards, I could probably still see my target and uh, be able to hit it. And the laser, I really dig this green laser, very powerful. I can very clearly see where it hits my target at this distance. And then uh, the red model that's going to be on sale here on the 27th, that's Friday, I think it's actually the day I'm going to be releasing this video. Uh, yeah, if you're watching this on the release date, this, what, that's when the flash sale will be. I'll put the, all the stats of the flash sale down in the description below. But uh, let's go ahead to the garage and let's take a look at some of the features on this. If the gas mask was the immovable object, then this was the unstoppable force. And actually, this one won in the end, as you can see. Normally, making a hit at 100 yards isn't all that difficult with a pistol, depending on you know what kind of rig I have set up. But uh, we did have some things working against us, and I was just happy to get that one hit. But let's talk a little bit about the hardware. This is the Olight Balder Pro. So this one has a little bit of extra throw out of it. This is 1350 lumens and uh, it does have the green laser. The one that is going to be on sale today, make sure you go out and check out the flash sale because this is the highlight object. Uh, this one right here is the Balder RL. So this one stands for a red laser. It has all of the same features as this one, except that it's going to cost a great deal less, especially today, and uh, it's going to have a red laser instead of a green. Uh, 
in my own little testing, I think that there are some differences between red and green. I think we're going to go out and do some tests to see which one I prefer uh, for different things. Red lasers are probably going to do a little bit better at preserving your night vision, uh, just because red uh, tends to, you know, not really act on the uh, the retina in quite the same way. And you can use red lights, you know, like the little ones on your headlamps, uh, to be able to see better at night when you switch it off. You're not really messed up. This one's probably going to be a little bit more precise and kind of easy for your eye to pick up distances. But uh, it, it'll be interesting to see what uh, the difference is between the two. But yeah, this one also does not have quite as bright a throw out of this lamp. This one's going to get only 1120 uh, lumens, which is a gob lot. Aside from that, the two are the same. So this one, you know, they claim that you'll be able to hit it. You'll be able to see a target at least at 260 meters. This one only 240. Um, <laughs> And I really do believe, after using this, that yes, you could actually uh, pick up a target at 260 meters. Uh, great little thing. But let's talk about some of the modes that are on this. Uh, first off, if you are on just the laser mode we talked about before, uh, you can press and hold, and that's going to uh, kind of do a momentary on. As soon as I let go, it's going to turn off. And you get a similar thing if you press two. I don't know why you'd want to do that if you press both sides. If you just press it and let go, it's like a single click. It's just going to turn it on. And with the light, so we're going to switch this over to full light, not the combo. All right, I'll press this once. OK, there is the 1120 lumens. You can see that this is quite bright. If I press both sides simultaneously, I get strobe. And this is one way that you might be able to maintain that uh, the higher lumens. If you put it in strobe mode, you might be able to get a bit beyond the uh, the one minute that you're going to get out of your, uh, it's not your battery life. After you get past that one minute, it's going to kick down to the lower mode. But if you do want to be able to switch modes on the fly and kind of pick how bright you want this to be. All right, so there's my max. If I double click now with either side, it's going to kick down to the 300 lumen mode. And this might be where you actually want to leave this especially if you uh, want to use one of these weapon sites for your defensive weapon inside your house. Uh, you know, if it's the middle of the night, 300 lumens is a lot of light, and your eyes might be able to deal with it just a little bit better. It all depends on what you're after. If you want to blind or uh, <laughs> uh, give someone a seizure, then you can just go straight for that. But uh, yeah, you can see that I was in 300 lumen mode, and when I turned it off, it's going to come right back to 300 lumen. I'll have to double click again to kick it up to that higher level. As far as attachment goes, this has a, a really neat little system. All it has is just this little lever that you flip right here. So this is in locked mode. If I flip it forward, then it's going to allow this little rail section to move off to the side. So here on the M&P 2.0, all I need to do is pull on this little lever. I can push it in, and then it just pops right off. You can see it moving right there. Very easy to attach and reattach. Flip it over and it's nice and stable. If you want to lock this down better, there's a little screw right here. You just turn this in and this is going to uh, help it to maybe grab a little bit harder. You can change your own uh, kind of cam setup. It's very easy to swap this from pistol to rifle. Just one thing, uh, you're not going to have the same kind of point of impact, your, your same zero. So you're probably going to have to switch it around if you go from uh, rifle to pistol and back and forth. But it is actually pretty easy. It's not toolless, but here's the way that it works. On the underside of this, I have two little set screws, and I can use this worn tool. I'll put a link to this product down below because uh, I, I really love this little guy. This has some of the common Torx and Allen keys and some of the other most common sort of screwdrivers that you're going to use for gun related things. And uh, yeah, so you just pop this in here and then you can turn. This is your vertical, this is your horizontal. And then if you're if you have it attached to the the pistol or the rifle, you can just look down your sights since you already have this sighted in either you know for your scope or your your irons, you can see where everything is uh, lining up, and you can just get the laser right on target. Really, really easy to do. 
Now let's talk about how you can get your hands on one of these models. Uh, this is a little bit of a complicated sale that we have going on just today. This is the big flash sale. This is the release of the Olight Balder RL, that red laser version. So you're going to be able to pick this up for a hundred bucks. Now, if you pay an extra two dollars on top of that, and okay, now normally this Balder Pro, uh, this one runs 150, and well worth it. This is a just an amazing little flashlight um, and we're gonna be using this in the future I think on some hunts we're gonna see how that goes uh, but yeah this one we're gonna I think I'm gonna keep this on the Smith & Wesson this is gonna be my little uh, defensive light and I think I'll keep this one around for hunting uh, but yeah this one is a hundred bucks for uh, just for March 27th for that day and then if you do pay that extra two bucks you're gonna get this right here. This is the uh, the i5T EOS CU. So this is a copper one, and this came in some special packaging. This had a little desiccant packet, and it was wrapped very tightly in in a vacuum bag. Different from this one. These are actually the same model. This is the i5 uh, EOS. This is a single double A um, little guy that can switch between. Uh, 15 lumens that you see right here on the back wall. I don't know if you can even uh, see the difference. Wonderful moonlight mode. And I actually did use this a lot when we were cleaning up our junk out there that night. But uh, let's see. There we go. You can bump it up to 300 lumens just with that one double A. Pretty cool. But the difference here is that uh, this model seems to be completely copper clad. And it's kind of beautiful. I think that this is actually going to pick up a patina over time as my fingers touch it and as it gets exposed to moisture in the air, it's going to get some of that uh, that greenish look to it. It's going to be pretty cool. This is definitely a lot heavier. I can feel a pretty big difference between this one and this one, but this just has that little bit of extra cool factor. I really dig this. Same modes though, so you have the uh, the moonlight mode, the little 15 lumens. And there's the 300 lumens right there. So yeah, that's an extra $2 on top of that. But wait, there's more. Uh, since you did tip it over 100 bucks on the sale, they're also going to throw in this little guy right here, which is the i3 UV. So this uses a AAA battery. And this little guy is UV. So if you want to be able to pick up blood, or any other little details out there. Uh, like you can see the mud right now on my uh, my Falcon S8i. You got this tiny little guy right here and it has a little uh, keychain uh, little ring on there. That's pretty cool. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you got something out of this. Uh, if Hopefully you're getting one of these out of it because these are really stinking sweet. But uh, yeah, don't don't use gas masks if you don't have to. They're, they're pretty terrible. You might as well at least try that uh, that gas mask that you bought. The the Czech M10 is probably the cheapest one that you can get out there. Some people wonder if the the filters still work after however long they've been in storage. But uh, if you did pick one of these up in you know, out at Cheaper Than Dirt, or I think I got this one from the Sportsman's Guide a long time ago. Make sure you check them out. They're, they help the channel out, and I've got a, I'll have got put a link down below. But yeah, if you did pick up one of those, go test it out, see how it works. This one is definitely horrible for a rifle, and there are certain ones that have the canister offset from your face, or maybe kind of sticking out, so you can kind of still work a rifle with your cheek. Uh, you can see what yours does. I'd be kind of curious if anybody posts a video using one of the American ones that you know kind of has the offset uh, canister. Let me know. I want to see how it goes. Thanks a bunch to everybody that has made these videos possible. Thank you to Olight for sending some of these out for me to try, and thank you to patrons of the Destructive Arts, especially. They're the ones that keep us in ballistics gel and that buy a lot of the uh, kind of ancillary hardware that we use. Thank you, Sportsman's Guide and Stan and Mary at the 338 Lapua Magnum level. We have Joseph Davis, we have Mr. No Name, and we have Peter at the 300 Win Mag level. And then we have a whole bunch of folks at the $1 and $2 level that are helping to just kind of keep things going. If anybody else wants to chip in that buck or two a month to keep videos like these rolling out, I'll put a link to Patreon. See you guys around. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. 
Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.